a swing and a miss, a deer that would have been my biggest to date, a heartbreaker series coming at you right here on Deer Season 24. This is a short story, but a good story, one that we wanted to tell you all. And sometimes you only get one shot at these big deer, and that's exactly what happened on this Heartbreaker series. Well, here we are, summer of 22. We are checking our cameras. We're looking at deer, and here's a deer that we knew well from the year before, and he is blown. He's a giant, he's mature. He was on a smaller farm, but a farm that is in a good neighborhood for us to run into him. Fast forward to the season, he is MIA. We can't find him on a couple different farms with a couple different camera locations. He's not there and we don't know where he's at. Well, fall of 22 is here. It is rolling on. I have a great season. I kill a deer in Missouri with a bow and then come back up here to Iowa. We get pictures of a deer in a bottom field on a very well-known farm of ours. And uh, we're not sure if he's mature. We want to lay eyes on him in person. To, to decide that. So here we go, Darren and I jump in this bottom field to see if we can lay eyes on him in person and make that judgment call. Well, we made it in the blind. Got all the windows cleaned. It's got a unique wind today. I'll show you on DeerCast. You can see the field. We're on, we're right there. It's just blowing right down the edge of the field, out into the pasture behind us. So, perfect wind. We normally only hunt this on some sort of south, but a west northwest works as well. And if you go into hourly, you can see we got the green for this evening. This is the last day of a lot of good green. We go to OK and then into the weekend we fall off the bat. This is the first warmer temps we've had from the last two days of, of bitter cold temperatures. So hopefully the deer move well, the pressure's still high. So got high hopes that we'll see a mature tonight. He's nice. Well, it's five after five and we got a, I believe a real pretty four and a half. He doesn't look mature to me, but real pretty deer. He's got a split G1. Mainframe 80, he's got a little little G4 on his on his uh, left side, makes him a nine, but uh, beautiful deer, and they're on their feet for sure. So we're starting to flow into this bottom, so hopefully, hopefully Mature shows up. starting to fill up with deer we've got we've seen a pretty four and a half they work to scrape at the end of the field fed back in the timber we've got 15 16 deer on the field deer that just walked out broke his whole right side off like right above the right above the pedicle three four inches broke it off clean he looks he looks like he could be five to me but missing a whole side already in in mid-October, pretty crazy. The deer are moving well. We're having a lot of deer come into this bean field. And uh, we look to the left and out steps a giant, a deer that we've been looking for all fall. And here he is walking into our lives in a spot that we did not expect him to be. That's a shooter for sure. I mean a 
giant. Yes. It's the split G28 from, from, uh, from the tree farm. It's a really big deer that just came out. He's for sure five and a half. He might be six and a half. He's a he's got a big split G2 mainframe eight. But we know him very well. We had a lot of summer pictures of a farm to the north of here. But it's glad. It's nice to see him alive and well. Hopefully, he feeds down this walking strip before legal shooting line tonight. But that's a giant deer right there. Beautiful, mature Iowa deer.
make it to the green or in these lower beans. Well, we're losing light fast. We got about 10 minutes left of legal light, but the camera is probably going to dictate that we don't have that much. But what an amazing set, amazing deer. It's amazing to see him. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the new specially designed, lightweight and durable Tenzing Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. So what a beautiful evening we had in the blind. I swung and missed on a shot that I probably should have waited for them to separate on. You live and you learn. Um, but nonetheless, deer unharmed, deer alive, and uh, the season rolls on. We had trail camera pictures of him, a few through the fall. We knew he was alive and well. Um, no encounters, no hunts. We never got on him again. And uh, that rolls on through into the winter, through shed season. Nobody sees him, nobody finds him dead, nobody knows where he's at. So um, what happened to this deer? We don't, we don't know. We're, we're trying to figure that out. And uh, this rolls all the way through the season of 23. We don't see him in trail camera photos in the summer. We don't see him during the fall. We don't encounter him anywhere. And we're all scratching our heads like, what happened to this deer? There's a lot of different things that can happen to these mature bucks. Maybe a neighbor killed him. Um, maybe got hit on the road. EHD is always a factor. We just don't know what happened to this deer and we're trying to figure that out. Um, the fall rolls all the way through up into you know January, February. We don't know where he's at. Me and Wade are starting to shed hunt. We don't find his sheds. We don't find him dead. Middle of February rolls around, neighbor calls Mark, said, hey, I found a big deer when I was coon hunting in the creek bottom. Uh, maybe it's a deer you guys know. Well, it is a deer we know very well. Here he is. This is the deer that I missed back in the fall of 22. And uh, he most likely had died right after 
you know, that encounter and that miss um, in the winter time. And uh, the neighbor was lucky enough to find him. And uh, we got a salvage tag on him from the DNR so we can put our hands on him. You know, we'd love for that arrow to find its mark back in 22 when I, when I shot at him and uh, we would have got to see him a lot sooner. But nonetheless, here he is. I mean, just a giant Iowa buck. Big thanks to the neighbor for uh, giving us a phone call and allowing us to see this deer and put our hands on him. It, it's, a, it's a sad heartbreaker series to find him this way, but the chapter is over nonetheless. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by DeerCast, the most advanced deer movement predictor ever.